The first Friday Art Walk is happening in Canyon City today, and one of the exhibits is showcasing artwork made by inmates at the country's most secure prison. News 5's Ashley Portillo is joining us live this afternoon to tell us how this program came to be. Ashley. Hey, Diana, good afternoon. So the art show, the art gallery that I'm currently standing in is called Art the Hard Way, and there are 300 pieces of artwork on display right now, all of them created by local inmates and all of those pieces made within the past year. Fostering an art community inside prison walls. One of our biggest initiatives is just trying to foster identity in an effort to um, show the holistic side and redemptive side of, you know, using art as a catalyst to heal. Justin Reddick founded the Creative Arts Platform, also known as CAP, in 2016. And since then, the program has worked with more than 200 inmates at the Supermax prison in Florence. We meet with them weekly. Um, we have out-of-cell uh, participation. We have in-cell activities. Um, we've done several murals. And now an art show with their artwork called Art the Hard Way on display at the Fremont Center for the Arts. The inmates are, are, are creating in, in a, a very difficult way, right? They're incarcerated and they don't have the supplies that a normal artist might have. Matt Refik has been a teacher in the CAP program since it began. And for him, he's seen the program transform inmates' lives. From being just putting on a, um, a persona of being a gang member and, and a violent criminal to transforming to be completely an artist. The art curriculum, a chance for inmates to learn about themselves, be creative and heal at the same time. A lot of them, you know, say that it's one of the best experiences of their lives because they come out of so many adverse situations. And it's also a chance for the inmates to reach the outside world through their work in a positive way. They know that it's going put on display and they're, they're being they're being shown as a positive part of the community, not just a menace to society or whatever they've been portrayed as in the past. And all of the artwork display is for sale to the public as well as the community. By the way, 50% of the proceeds from that artwork does go back to the artists themselves. And there is an opening ceremony for this gallery happening tonight from 4.30 to 7.30 this evening. And all of this artwork will be on display until August 28th. Always watching out for you, Canyon City. Ashley Portillo, News 5.